mathematics as a form of expression developed far earlier than we can actually think of. But nobody exactly knows when it was that humans started counting their fingers. However, if you think that mathematics was invented somewhere in the rest of the world, then you might want to think again. Here is a brief history as to how mathematics developed in ancient India. The earliest evidence of practical use of mathematics can be found as early as 3000 BCE in the Indus Valley Civilization. In sites of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, structures were being made of bricks that was uniform in measurement. Most of these bricks measured in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1. This means that they had a standardized system of measurement. It was not just lengths and breadths. Weights were also standardized. There were also various uh, utensils of geometrical shapes such as conical, cylindrical and spherical flasks. This shows that there was knowledge of geometry as early as the Indus Valley Civilization. However, the most concrete evidence of mathematical knowledge can be found, of course, in the Vedas. Although the Vedas were written around 1500 BCE, the knowledge of the Vedas had existed since time immemorial in the Indian society. For example, the Yajur Veda Samhita gives a mantra which describes numbers from 10 to 1 trillion. Similarly, the Purusha Suktam in the Rig Veda talks about 3 fourth of a man, 1 fourth of a man, etc. 3 fourth, 1 fourth? Well, we are talking about knowledge of fractions as early as the Rig Vedic period. However, the breakthrough in the Indian mathematics came with the hero of Indian mathematics, Aryabhatta, around 3rd century CE. Aryabhatta ended up being an inspiration for various other mathematical scholars to come. And thus, with Aryabhatta and his texts, India entered into what is known as classical period or the golden age of Indian mathematics. Eurocentricism has constantly made sure that credit was given to many of the European scholars and mathematicians for the invention of many mathematical concepts. However, it is without a doubt that most of these concepts were actually being influenced by Indian mathematicians. However, how did this happen? How is it that Indian mathematics influenced the rest of the world? Here is an example. In 712 BCE, the Arab Caliphate conquered parts of Sindh. Thereafter, the Caliphate conducted extensive exploration and expedition in various parts of Sindh and uh, nearby areas. And that's how texts of Brahmagupta traveled all the way from India into the courts of the Arab Caliphate. They, having realized the value of these texts, immediately translate these texts into the Arabic language, giving them Arabic titles. For example, one of Brahmagupta's texts was known as Sindh Hind. Another text on Brahmagupta, uh, which had algorithms written in it, were given, was given an Arabic title which translated into addition and subtractions in the Indian arithmetic. However, much later in the 13th century CE, when the Europeans borrowed these texts from the Arabs and translated them into Latin, they further translated this title into what we call today as algorithm. Although due credit has not been given to the Indian mathematicians so far, it is high time that we start recognizing, understanding and learning the history of India and also the brilliant minds of the Indian mathematicians of ancient India. So don't forget to join me on this journey of exploring mathematicians of ancient India. How is it that they contributed to mathematics? What was their significance in Indian mathematical history? Time for some Ganit facts. Let us now try to understand a brief history of Indian mathematics using a timeline. Now, at around 3000 BCE, we had the first evidences in the Indus Valley Civilization. 800 to 600 BCE, the Sulpa Sutras were written. 
Second century CE, we had Pingala and we had the genius Aryabhata at third century CE. Brahmagupta came up with his brilliant ideas in 598 CE. And Bhaskaracharya existed at around 11th to 12th century CE and gave us revolutionary ideas. Madhava of Sangrama started the Kerala school of mathematics at 1340 CE. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Uttishta Bharatam. Namaste and Jai Hind.